moving on to this first topic right here. I know you're pretty excited about it. Yes, sir. You are a DC fan. Yes, even sir. me and you, we even talked about this on my channel before, and I'm gonna try to find the video. Mm -hmm. Um, it was yeah, me and you talking about this Blue Beetle project uh that it was making the I forgot his name, but the main guy, Miguel from Cobra Kai, is going yeah. to be the Blue Beetle character. Uh, we also talked about how um uh, this is not going to theaters, it was gonna go to HBO Max. But it looks like Warner Brothers has had a change of heart with where this is going to end up on streaming. And that brings me to the first article right here that I have from ComingSoon.net and the first article of the day. Warner Brothers shifts DC's Blue Beetle from HBO Max to theaters and sets five release dates. And guys, just to let you know, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this article in the description box for you to read at your own leisure. And it just goes on to say, and the advertisement's out of the way, Warner Brothers Pictures has officially decided to change the distribution release of Angel Manual, Soto's forthcoming live action DC movie, Blue Beetle. Originally stated as an HBO Max release, the Zolo, I don't, I'm gonna try that, the Zolo Mariduena led superhero film has now moved from streaming to exclusive to theatrical release and is currently scheduled to make a debut on August of 18, 2023. That's a little over a year and a half from now. And so also, in addition, the studio has announced the release dates for other five upcoming films of 2023 and 2024. Uh, and the theatrical release schedule and the release of the 2022 HBO release lineup. Warner Brothers has finally set the theatrical dates for producer James Ryan, Train to Bazaar remake title Last Train to New York, for April 2023 and The Wizard of Oz Toto on February 4th of 2022. And so there you go right there, guys. And again, you can read um, that article is in the description box for you to read at your own leisure. Um, I think this is good. Uh, everything that DC has been putting out lately or Warner Brothers as far as their live action superhero movies has been great. They started out kind of rocky, but I think at this point in time, you can say that they have more um you know positive films than negative films you know mm -hmm. i think man of steel is a great film i think the snyder cut not the regular justice league but the snyder cut is great <laughs> yeah. you know i like aquaman um i like uh shazam mm -hmm. and i like wonder woman number one and i may be leaving out another film you can help me out but anyway how are you feeling about this man are you happy that this is going to theaters or would you rather stay at hbo max no nah, not at all uh I, I was i think me and you talked about it last time man i said the only mistake i felt like they was making with this film was releasing it only on uh, hbo max i said in the times where like like representation is important i said you have a hispanic lead and the next thing the first thing you do you see this movie straight to uh streaming to streaming i'm like yeah. bro that, that's just a bad look and then uh <laughs> elliot had pointed it out to me he said man if you look at like all the dc properties that they got coming out on like streaming they all got like minority leads and i'm just i started looking i started thinking really? about Batgirl. girl i started thinking about the gotham series they got coming out you know uh not Je jeffrey uh what's his name it's not jeff i think it's jeff it might be jeffrey morgan like that and then this, I didn't even I'm think like, of that, bro. I'm like, no, nah. I'm like, bro, y'all they tripping. And then I'm thinking, <laughs> I also was taking like, bro, these, these are possibly like great properties for them to to, to like have. Uh, Jaime Reyes is a great character, and him his relationship with the Scarab is something very very difficult. So, and then I thought like the budget that they have. With this, I, I know it's, it's not going to be of a huge budget film, and I've already seen like the concept art for how like the Blue Beetle uh, uh suits don't look. Bro, mm -hmm. all of it just points to I, I didn't want to see this other than on the theaters in, in yeah. the theaters, bro. So I, I'm, I'm super happy that they made the decision. Well, good, good, man. Uh, your enthusiasm gets me excited. Um, I'm trying to, I was trying to see a, a little bit of information that you were just uh, mentioning, but here you go right here though. Um, the videos I was talking about on my channel, mm -hmm. uh, this was uh, four months ago and, and six months ago, me and you was talking about both of these. So y'all, you guys can go check those out as well. Um, if you want to, 
But yeah, man, I didn't a good observation, Elliot. He's gonna be going live in about 30 minutes for his Spider-Man spoiler review. I was trying to be done with this live by then, so we're gonna show him some love after this. But um, I didn't know that. I didn't realize yeah. that uh, all the all the people of color, you know, the, the browns and the blacks and all that were yeah. all going straight to streaming. So yeah. wow, that's throwed off, man. Yeah, I think they're gonna I think they're gonna change back girl too. I definitely think they're gonna change back girl. Wow, wow, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and y'all let us know in the uh were you talking about Jeffrey Wright? Was that the Jeffrey guy you Wright? Okay, Jeffrey okay. Wright. What Jeffrey Morgan is uh the white dude. Yeah, from, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Walking yeah, Dead, I yeah, want to yeah, say yeah, Jeffrey yeah. Dean Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Jaren 215? Well, uh, that's that's crazy right there. Yeah, theatrical mm -hmm. experience is crucial. Mm -hmm. And so uh yeah, we gotta pay attention to little well, not even little details like that. That's a big detail yeah. that uh you know they're leaving that out. Uh, or or the people of color like that. Um, and oh, I mean, and the, uh, and that, oh, the, I, go ahead, go ahead. I was uh, the other one was the uh, the Michael B. George Superman. Remember that was going mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the the Valzai, That was going straight to street. And I'm like, ah. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad we was we was about to talk over each other. And I'm glad I let you talk first because you you just put a, 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 a wrench in my point. I was gonna make. I was gonna say it also has to do with popularity of the character mm -hmm. because you can't just put some. You know, character ain't nobody heard of. You know, in theaters now. My, my, I kind of don't want to take that back because you know you got Guardians of the Galaxy. Didn't yeah. nobody know what that was, yeah. and that was successful. Didn't nobody know Captain Marvel. So actually, let me let me go ahead and backtrack that. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. And then when a the budget smaller, like you're not the, you're not taking as big of a risk. You got a forty fifty million dollar budget. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah no why not put it in theater? Yeah, yeah why not yeah. put it in theater? You're right. You're right. But 703, what's up, man? How you doing? Thank you so much for the seven dollars and three cents super chat. I really do appreciate it, my brother. Yes! Yes! Showing a little support and shout now. I'll be hitting 65 three days after Xmas. Already, man. That's what's up, man. Uh, I, hopefully, um, that's you know, I can, I can I can make it that long too, man. So uh, happy early birthday, man, and thank I'm you so much advice. for the support. By 60, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah? No, nah, man. Let's, 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 89, 89, 89. Let's, 89. We're, going, we're, going, we're going for 89. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 